Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I've got a gardening tip you're not gonna wanna miss. I'm gonna share with you the absolute quickest and easiest way that I get rid of weeds in my garden. We're starting right over here at this raised garden bed. What I did is I topped off the bed with some fresh soil. Then I began to water this bed, allowing all and any of the weed seeds that were in here to germinate and begin to sprout. And you can see we've got all kinds of different plants starting to come up here. I see purslane. I see amaranth, I see morning glory, bindweed. So if I were to manually remove all these weeds by hand, it's gonna take me quite some time, be quite a bit of labor. But I've got a solution. I'm gonna be able to de-weed this whole bed in just about a minute. Check it out. So this tool right here is known as a weed torch. It has other uses as well. I've seen people melt snow off their driveway with it. You can also start charcoal with it amongst other things. But it does a great job at burning away any unwanted weeds in your garden and in your pathways. So we're just gonna open up the gas on the propane here. There's also a knob right here on the wand itself which allows you to control the gas flow. So we'll turn it on. You can hear the gas coming out, we'll give it a light. And when you pull the trigger, it's a very hot flame, it's blue, you can barely see it. Start right here. wet down the bed. And just like that, my friends, all the weeds are gone. All in all, this is a wonderful technique, makes quick work out of the job. It also works well if you got cracks going through your driveway or if you got a paver driveway, it's a pain to get those weeds out. Now, I wish I would have thought of this technique last year. I had a lot of unwanted weeds growing up in this raised bed. And as a result, I was doing a lot of hand weeding later in the season. This year, I did it right. I allowed those weed seeds to germinate first. And now that I've got them all out of the way, I'm gonna transplant some of the seedlings I got started a few weeks ago. You can see these are Nice size now for transplant. We got plenty of roots coming out the bottom of these cucumbers here. These are lemon cucumbers. Here's some pickling cucumbers. I've got some bitter melon. I've got some watermelon. Been battling the earwigs this year like crazy. But thank goodness I got the Sluggo Plus. I sprinkled around here. But man, they were just getting into all my little baby plants here. These little eggplant seedlings. Anyway, that's the tip. Commercial growers that do row cropping. They leave a couple feet in between their rows, can easily get through there with the weed torch as well. I've seen that. Anyways, I hope you found this gardening tip helpful today. If so, do us a favor and smash the thumb button. Shoot us a comment. Let us know what you thought. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And we're always sharing with you all the different things growing on around here. So with that, have yourself a great rest of the weekend. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. 
Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.